Hi, I'm Mike with Zeke's Gallery. We often get questions on how to mount outdoor statuary. In this video, we're going to show you how to mount solid cast polyester resin statuary, such as our Moat Dragon here. This is our Merboy here. Uh, this is a, a polyester resin or fiberglass resin. It is, it's hollow cast instead of the solid cast like the Moat Dragon here. So there is a different way of mounting uh, the two different products and I will show you how to do that. This is our Moat Dragon that I mentioned earlier. It is a solid cast polyester resin. Here we've taken a, uh, a 3 8 inch drill bit and drilled a hole up into the bottom about, about 3 inches up. And we're going to insert a piece of rebar. You can get rebar at uh, your local building center such as uh, Home Depot and Menards. It comes in half inch and uh, 3 8 inch. In this case, uh, I've just taken a 12 inch piece and uh, ground it to a point. Uh, when you ask for rebar, they're going to try to sell you a 10 foot piece, but uh, they usually have it cut in like 12 inch and 18 inch length as well. Um, here we're just going to insert it into the bottom. Um, if you drill a hole that's kind of loose, um, I recommend we take some uh, Gorilla Glue here. It is a uh, expanding polyurethane type foam glue. And it will, if you put it on the ends here, and just push it in there till it bottoms out, that foam will eventually come right on out, and you can trim it off, grind it off uh, after it's hardened. The uh, statue can then just be plugged into the ground. It's easily removed later on if you need to mow or you just want to change your garden setup. If you want to give your statuary a more permanent anchoring, uh, that can easily be done by digging a small hole, filling it with concrete, and then with your rebar attached to your urn, statuary, or pedestal, can you just drop down into the concrete. And once the concrete hardens, you'll have a great counterweight to keep that, uh, that garden piece in place uh, during high winds or whatever. But this is, of course, uh, a little more permanent. Um, you can actually, at a later date, if you have to move it, you can surely dig it out uh, and move the whole footing and all, uh, and then just uh, replant it somewhere else if you like. Another way that uh, a lot of people don't think about uh, mounting their statuary is just to uh, concrete or concrete slab. Uh, very easily done by drilling a hole right into the concrete. Uh, same size as a rebar you're going to use. Uh, requires a special bit. This bit is a, a masonry bit. Uh, it's a little bit different than a wood bit. It has a, a point on it. Uh, we'll show a close-up of this later on for those of you who don't know what a masonry bit looks like. Anyway, uh, you select one, same size as your rebar, uh, drill it down, same depth as your uh, rebar goes. Most slabs are about three and a half, four inches deep, so it won't take long to go completely through the concrete. But here, we're just going to stick our statue right down in there. Now this can be a driveway, a sidewalk, uh, a porch or a step. Sit on there just fine. Um, you can move it later on during the winter months. If you want to take it off, you can sure do that. I wouldn't glue it or anything like that. I would just leave it, uh, just leave the hole. If you wanted to uh, fill it up later on, make it more permanent, you can re it, fill it full of cement or uh, patch. Uh, but anyway, that's just another, uh, another option for mounting your statuary. This is our Merboy. Uh, it is a fiberglass statue like our Moat Dragon with one main difference in that this piece is a hollow cast piece and it is a little bit lighter weight so if you want to make this type of statue have a more permanent placement in your garden uh, that can be easily achieved uh, like the moat dragon we drilled a hole in the bottom however here with it being hollow our rebar is going to move around and there's nothing really to anchor it to. If we try to glue it in there with our Gorilla Glue, it's still going to flop around. So what we do is we take some uh, spray foam, polyurethane foam. This comes in two basic styles. It comes in uh, for gaps and cracks. 
It also comes for windows and doors. The gaps and cracks variety here expands more than the window and door foam does. Uh, that's one I recommend because we're filling a large space. It can be uh, sprayed directly into the hole using their straw attachment here. Poke it all the way up there as far as you can and just blast away. It will start to eventually start to ooze out. Um, as it starts to do that, you can insert your rod about three inches up into the piece. And I would also turn it a little bit to get it to adhere well to the, to the rod. And over the course of the next hour or so, um, the foam is going to try to push that rebar out. You can either come back every 15-20 minutes and push it back in there and eventually it will stop creeping out. The other way to do it is to take uh, duct tape or some other strong tape tape it and hold it into place. You'll also want to make sure that the rebar hasn't gone off to an angle like that and uh, just reposition it so it's straight up and down. After about 24 hours the foam will harden enough uh, to be trimmed off. It will actually ooze out a little bit here on the bottom. Uh, you can take a utility knife or razor blade and just trim it off. I would put some caulking or paint or something of that sort uh, around that edge to keep it watertight. Um, we'll also show you here how to anchor or fill uh, open base bottom statuary as well. Here we have a pedestal that has a, a solid bottom on it. Um, we're going to uh, fill this full of cement and put rebar in it to make it more permanent. Uh, here we've taken a hole saw and drilled a hole in the bottom about two inches so we can get our concrete in there. Um, hole saw looks, looks like that. This goes in a drill. It's a drill bit. Um, these come in various diameters. You can get them relatively cheap at uh, Harbor Freight Tools or any home centers. Um, after you have drilled the hole uh, out, you're going to get a little plug just like this, a little hockey puck. Um, we've taken our uh, 3 8 drill bit again and drilled for our uh, rebar to fit. Um, since our hole and our uh, hole saw is too small for the rebar, we just drilled the hole a little bit bigger so it will accommodate our rebar. Um, here we're going to fill it full of concrete. We're going to fill it all the way up just to this bottom bottom edge right here and leave this half inch uh, area open. Um, the reason for that is once we insert our rebar down into the concrete we can take our little hockey puck here that we took out bring it down and let it uh, sit right on top of that concrete. The main reason for this is that this concrete that we have in here if exposed directly to the ground will wick uh, water up into it and could cause concrete to swell ever so slightly uh, when it freezes and it could crack the actual uh, fiberglass. So we put our little hockey puck back on and before we put it all the way in there we're going to take uh, just some regular household caulking and caulk this outer edge and caulk around where the rebar meets the, the fiberglass hockey puck here and after it sits up good we can also paint it if we like uh, seal it up even better but the caulking usually does a pretty good job main thing is that we get uh, a good watertight seal here so we don't get any water wicking up into our, our statue or to our pedestal and that only really applies to concrete um, the, the foams if you're using a foam like I showed earlier uh, the foams don't do that because the foams have uh, so much uh, air in them and air gaps that there's plenty of room for expansion. It's the concrete that causes the, uh, the expansion problem, so it needs to be sealed real good. This is uh, The Bird Girl by Sylvia Shaw Johnson. When you first receive your Bird Girl, it's going to come in two separate boxes. One for the pedestal base and one for the Bird Girl. Um, it will need to be mounted uh, to the concrete base. 
So I want to show you how to do that. Um, the bird girl, when it comes from the factory, will have a 3 8 inch hole drilled into the bottom. And it will also have a little bit of a dimple here uh, that's the start of a 3 8 inch hole. And that will need to be drilled out uh, for you to mount the two pieces together. Um, here we're going to use a piece of 3 8 inch rebar. It can be purchased from most home centers uh, in 12 inch lengths. Um, it's just going to be inserted into the bottom. Before we put it in there though, we're going to take a glue. Here we're using a Gorilla Glue. It's an expansive uh, polyurethane foam type glue. And once it goes in there, we'll put it on the edges, but once it goes in, it'll expand and grab, uh, grab that rebar real well. Um, from there, we're going to let it dry and come over here to our pedestal and take a 3 8 inch uh, hammer drill bit and uh, a drill. You can use a regular drill, you can use a hammer drill. Most of your uh, cordless drills nowadays have a, uh, a hammer drill function and uh, we'll have to drill through here about an inch and a half. It is hollow. I'll show you that. And it is concrete. So it's going to take a little bit to get through it. Um, but once we have a hole in there and our bird girl has the rebar um, we're going to insert the two pieces together um, and use our Gorilla Glue once again, put it on our rebar and slide the whole thing down so it becomes one solid unit. Uh, with the concrete base uh, and the two pieces together, it should be uh, pretty solid. When you order your statue, pedestal, or urn, you do have the option of ordering uh, these types of hardware, as we mentioned in our other videos, uh, rebar, um, also uh, you can get bolts installed. These would be fiberglass right up inside the, uh, the statue or the pedestal for mounting. Um, many people order a statue or a pedestal together at the same time, in which case uh, a bolt like this or a threaded rod uh, would be installed at the factory. It would protrude out. Um, the pedestal would have a, a hole pre-drilled in it and pre-aligned. So all you have to do is just drop the bolt down in there, come up from underneath, put the nut on, and you have the two pieces that are uh, perfectly aligned uh, at the factory. Um, another couple of options that they offer are uh, flanges, or I call them angle irons. They can be fiberglass on the inside, they can be fiberglass on the outside uh, for various mounting uh, purposes. Um, another way is uh, a threaded uh, nut like this, uh, sometimes, sometimes called a coupling. It uh, can be fiberglassed up inside, so if you need to come up from the bottom, uh, like a deck or a platform, you can bolt straight up into this uh, uh, coupling. Um, then, and again, this would be fiberglassed right inside the piece, and you can order it that way uh, from the manufacturer.